What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, ah! Guys, I dyed my hair. Well, I didn't dye this myself. Heck no. I went to this place and I am so happy with how they did my hair. So I'm gonna leave the girl who did my hair and her assistant down below because she's like my new favorite person. I just love her so much because she got me to this point and I just, I just, I, I have no words. So I've been trying to get to this blonde for so long and finally I found the girl who could do this, who could make my dreams a reality and okay, I just can't stop touching my hair also, but like I'm gonna show you guys like the most insane before and after picture you've ever seen in your life. Like it's actually insane. Like I didn't even realize my hair looked how it did. My hairstylist took a before picture and showed it to me and I was like, wow, I did not realize my hair looked like that. So here's the before and here is the after. So as you guys can see, I'm like this icy blonde color. I just really thought that I never was gonna be like a true blonde. I was always gonna have like some brown in me, but guys, it is all gone. I'm so happy, I'm finally a blonde. And I'm actually about to do my makeup, so I'm just gonna set you guys down and I'm gonna like give you guys some updates, you know, talk to you guys and do my makeup at the same time. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my foundation. I've been using this foundation for so long. This is just the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup. So today is Tuesday and I am getting ready. As you guys can see, I have a lot of filming to do because I'm actually planning on going back to like my hometown just for probably like 10 days, maybe 10 days or so. And I'm gonna be leaving tonight. So I'm going to be, you know, getting all my work-related stuff done. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys. Oh, so this is one of the reasons I want to talk to you guys as well because I've been pretty MIA lately and I will tell you why. Okay, so I posted this on my Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on there, you wouldn't see this update. Instagram is just keep calm and blush on. So you guys should follow that if you want to. Also, I'm using this shape tape and there's like nothing left in here so i need to go get another one because this is like my favorite concealer it's so nice okay so on thursday so it hasn't even been a, been a week wow it feels like it's been so long okay i'm just gonna stop doing my makeup for a quick sec so i can tell you guys this story because it's really horrible and sad but yeah i just want to tell you guys it because that's the reason i've been like gone madeline and i went to this mall by our house and it said it closed at nine o'clock and it was like eight o'clock when we got there. So we were just gonna like run in and find some things because we had like a party to go to the next day. So we were like, let's find some stuff, you know? The actual mall closed, but the Forever 21 that was connected to it was still open. So we just decided to go shopping in Forever 21 until like 10. Um, and then I remembered I had something in my car to return to Forever 21. So I ran outside at around nine o'clock when like the actual mall closed. And I ran out there, got my stuff, and then went back inside to Forever 21. And we were shopping in there for like an hour. And then at 10 o'clock, when it closed, we like walk outside to my car. And my car window, like the side mirror, or like the side window, was busted open. And oh my gosh, guys, it was like, ugh. Just, I just remember like looking at that and being like, dang, that really sucks. Like there are some, you know, BTBs, my mom calls them BTBs, or bad teenage boys. Man, some bad teenage boys were just, you know, throwing rocks at people's windows and that really is unfortunate, but like, it's not the end of the world. Like I can get it fixed, whatever. And then it hits me and I'm like, I just like start bawling. I'm just like, oh my gosh, my computer was in my car. And I just like, ah, it was so horrible. And I couldn't even look, I was just like crying. And I was like, Madeline, is my computer in my car? Like they took it, like they took my computer. And unfortunately, that is exactly what happened. So yeah, I don't leave my computer, just like a little like PSA. I don't usually leave my computer in my car. It was literally like, I was even thinking to myself like, oh, I should probably take my computer out because I was like at Starbucks earlier before we went to the mall. And I was like, oh, well, we're just gonna, we're just running into the mall anyways, like it's fine. I'll take it in later. <sighs> so I usually don't do that, but at this point I did and I just could not believe it and so we called like the security guards or whatever that were a part of the mall and they were zero help um they did like write up like a police report or whatever but I'm like still like waiting to hear back from them I called them once and they're like oh we're still reviewing the footage like we'll call you when we find something and I'm like excuse me like I don't think you guys would ever call me if I didn't call you but anyways still hearing back from them okay so here's what my window looks like 
don't know if you guys can see that well. But yeah, they broke in and my computer was down there and they grabbed it. So I'm like, I don't know if I should like take this off. <gasps> okay, that. Okay, I'm, I'm so scared actually. Crap. That's that. It was like really traumatic. Honestly, it was so sad. And it's not even the fact that like, oh, they, I, it's just the fact that like so much personal information is on my computer and I did have it locked, but still it was just like, why? I don't get how people steal, people can steal like your personal belongings like that. It's just like really insane to me. But yeah, so that was insane. That was just like so horrible. The next few days following that was like, they were pretty bad because I was just like, I, this is like my whole life. It really is. It's like my whole life, my work, all on this computer, and it's completely gone. So on Sunday, a few days ago, I went and got a new computer. So I have that right on my bed. It's, you guys can probably see it. So, yeah, there it is. It's literally like the exact same one that I had before. But thankfully, this one was an updated version. They had just updated it like four days before. So at least I got like a semi-new computer. So that's good. But yeah, I just have a lot to film today. And then I'm going back to my hometown in Illinois and yeah let me know if you guys want me to do like vlogs and stuff in Illinois because my boyfriend actually lives there and I want to do like a Q&A with him so if you guys have any questions for us leave them down below because I really want to like go and like do a Q&A with him I think that would be really fun I also feel like super pale now that I have like this blonde hair but I'm actually not hating it normally I'd be like oh my gosh I need like a tan but like I'm kind of digging like being super white right now. <laughs> it's kind of fun. And also I haven't shown my boyfriend uh, my hair yet because I want to like surprise him. So I'm going to try to record that when he like sees my hair for the first time. Cause I think he's going to be pretty shocked. What's this? <laughs> you like it? I don't not like it. <laughs> but... <laughs> this is the um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I've used this literally for like five years. I don't know how they're still product in here. <laughs> Guys, I have lived here in California for nine months. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been that long. Like, I feel like it's been a long time, but at the same time, it literally feels like I just moved here and that like I'm on this random like vacation still. Okay, this is also one of my new favorite products. This is from M Cosmetics, and it's just like their eyebrow little comb thing. It just has like some color on it, so then you just run it through your eyebrows and it um, the color goes on it. Let's see, I don't know what color I should do. I think I might just do the same eyeshadow look that I usually do. Just something pretty neutral. Okay, it's actually so fun to do my makeup when I have this blonde hair. I feel like everything like stands out a lot more. And then this is my favorite mascara of all time. I just got a new one. It's called They're Real by Benefit. It's been like my go-to for years. Super nice. I don't know what lip color to use, but let me just try this one out. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope this was like semi-entertaining. I know I didn't really like do anything except for my makeup and well, I just wanted to tell you guys like updates on, you know, where I've been and about my car incident and that I'm gonna be going back home for like 10 days. So yeah, leave me some questions for um, like my boyfriend Q&A kind of thing because I definitely want to film that when I go back. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.